Hey guys, welcome to Travel Tricks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon as we will continue to update you on the best of the best tips and tricks for visiting countries all over the world. In today's video, we will introduce you to the top 10 food specialties from Ghana. Ghana is a relatively small country with around 30 million inhabitants. Apart from its population, it was the first sub-Saharan country to achieve independence. Okay, Ghana at 64, woo woo! <laughs> the country is not only famous for having some well-known great leaders like Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, but it's one of the most culturally rich countries in the world, which reflects the most on its local cuisine, making it undeniably one of the best in West Africa. If you really want to fall in love in Ghana, make sure you know to check the best foods out. So let's jump in to stimulate some taste buds, yeah? Starting at number 10, we have shoko. Shoko is one of those mostly like traditional dishes which has been prepared for centuries and even held its significance during the bloodshed of independence. As it is cheap but has an amazing taste, it is easily affordable for everyone. It's a simple combination of beef and spinach stew with some tasteful ingredients to enhance the aroma of this dish. This simple but tasty dish reveals the actual taste of Ghana. Mm. At number nine, we have yam pottage. You might have heard it as yam porridge as well. The food actually describes the worth and the real taste of yams. Mm. Just like many special foods, in which yam is used to prepare meals, yam pottage or yam porridge is a different dish. In yam pottage, yam is infused with tomato soup and flavored with dried sardines and garlic to make it tastier and mouth-watering. You're in luck, there are several ways to make yam pottage, so you are at liberty to cook it the way you want. You can add anything you want, or you can subtract anything from the recipe as well. Usually, people choose to use palm oil instead of tomato soup. To give this food a mouth-watering aroma, dried sardines and salted dried tilapia are also added. At number eight, we have kelowele. The tasteful and scrumptious kelowele dish is famous throughout the country due to its flavor. It's actually a flavorful combination of deep-fried plantain chunks that are usually combined with hot peppers, salt, and ginger. You can add it to any meal as it usually serves as an accompaniment to bean stews or rice dishes. Mm, I love it. <laughs> Many restaurants offer it as a dessert too. To get an additional layer of taste, you can add peanuts, cloves, nutmeg, and or cinnamon. Have it your way. At number seven, we have concote. This spicy dish is popular throughout Ghana and Togo and may be one of the most liked meals. It usually consists of pounded, dried cassava, or yam, water, and salt. The dish has numerous funny nicknames, such as Face the Wall, Black Gold, Ajinkwa, and many more. The color of the dish is totally dependent on the cassava, and when the dish is cooked, it ranges in color from light brown to black, depending on how the cassava was dried. It may be eaten with soups like palm, kernel, and okra, with assorted fish or meat. You can also try pepper sauce or gravy. Either one will still make it taste amazing. And at number six, we have teo safi. Teo safi is a very famous dish in Northern Ghanaian areas, especially the Dagombas, and very similar to Banku. In many regions, people call it tizi. Having very simple ingredients like corn flour, it still manages to be a very special dish because of its softness and unique taste. Generally, it is made by cooking corn dough and adding a little cassava. What distinguishes the teosavi and makes it a popular meal nationwide is the nutritious and rare herbs used in making the soup. Including dawa dawa and ayoyo leaves, just like fufu, it also requires soup to gulp it down. The most popular soup that comes with tizi is juti leaf soup, known as ayoyo, but you can try a different soup according to your taste and likeness. At number five, we have amutu. This is another Ghanaian traditional food, which is also called rice balls. It actually portrays the fondness of Ghanaian people that how often they reinvent 
several ways of eating rice. <laughs> we love our rice, don't we? <laughs> it includes soft boiled grains of rice shaped into balls, served with a variety of soups, and makes a great side dish to many. This dish is so tasty that the Southerners have dedicated the Sunday afternoons to eating this dish. It is also available in many popular restaurants. And at number four, we have fufu. This amazing dish is very popular in Ghana as well as its neighbors. It has two different names. Some countries call it futu, while other countries call it fufu. The everlasting taste and uniqueness of this food could not be described in words. It's actually a combination of boiled cassava and plantain or yam, which is pounded to a pulp. For aroma and taste, cooks also add some other ingredients like tomato soup. In Ashanti and eastern areas of Ghana, this dish is eaten with goat light soup. But there's definitely no issue if you want to eat it with peanut butter soup, palm nut soup, or vegetable soup. I personally prefer peanut butter soup with loads of chicken. Mm. And at number three, we have Red Red. The next top special dish on our list is Red Red. A traditional dish which consists of cow pea beans boiled to make a broth, red palm oil, tomato paste, and garlic ginger, as well as chili and onions. It's the favorite meal of many people because of the natural taste that comes from its ingredients. Generally, Red Red is served with fried plantains on the side, but some cooks also add meat or fish broth into the stew to make it tastier. And at number two, we have wache. Mm, wache is one of the most cherished dishes that has become a special part of everybody's kitchen on the national level. It was the dish of northern parts actually, but now it has been consumed in every house. It is actually a combo of rice and beans with millet leaves and can be eaten with either fried fish, fried chicken, spaghetti, and or eggs. Generally, it includes fried plantains, the spaghetti-like talia, boiled eggs, a black pepper sauce called chito, a tomato meat soup, and a garofoto, which is a crushed sauce made with finely grated cassava. It's a favorite dish as street food and easily available in every city of Ghana. And yes, you guessed it, at number one we have Benku and Tilapia. Wherever you see fish grills in Accra, it's most likely to be Tilapia. Benku is the number one most liked dish for Ghanaian people, which is a combination of fermented corn dough plus cassava dough, which is mixed and stirred in hot water till it becomes solid. The dish isn't only the favorite in Accra, but it's also common in Ghana's eastern and western parts. People usually eat benku along with different kinds of soups, sauces, and stews. There's a variety of soups that restaurants offer with benku. However, the most popular soup that reverberates well is okra soup. You can also add cow skin, which is locally called wele, along with any seafood of your choice. You should definitely try crab legs or shrimp. Mm, it's so tasty. <laughs> And that is all Travel Tricksters. Thank you for tuning in and let us know which meal you think you're going to try next in the comments. Be sure to hit the subscribe, like, and bell icon so you can stay updated with the next Travel Tricks episode we have for you. Have a great one.